I'm not a teacher, but I tell you knowledge is power, but it's up to you to use it as a weapon, to handle all the non-believers, to unleash the magic within the spirit of a dreamer, to create the things that even the greatest minds can't even dream up. You must awaken your innovator, to silence the loud fabricators calling you outside your name, thug, misfit, potential, dropout, statistic, the product of the entitled, misguided youth. I bet some even told you that this too would defeat you, as if getting an education in urban schools makes you that much more unequal. But don't believe the hype is true, and don't let mass political opinions deceive you. I told you knowledge is power, but that power is within you to be the change that you seek, not strong, liable to break, How having no authority is how Webster defines weak. But as I stand before you all today, I know not one of you fits that description and you all have the tools to succeed, the authority to make your dreams a reality, the promise to realize your own potential, a craft, a gift that makes each one of you special, a voice that you may allow to silence or allow to belt, billow, and echo. And so I challenge you, make your presence felt and understand the cost of being a replication will only decrease your wealth. So consider the value in being replicated. Consider the impact you have in believing you can make it. From this day forward, extend your reach so far past yourself into a space with no limits in which you will be the difference. Where a great creation awaits your brilliance. Where a worldly cause will endure due to your resilience. Where a big idea will take shape if you are diligent. Now is the time to create your own lane. Can't be afraid to fail because failure is a catalyst for change. Now some will try to contain your vision. The same non-believers who view you through statistical perception. They'll ask you, who do you think you are? You'll face rejection. Really, they don't know who they are. Projection. You're the revival of inactive dreams resurrection. And some will still say, that you can't go the distance, but don't fold your hand, just remain consistent because you all have the capacity to combat indifference. You, you and you are significant. Now some will still tell you that you can't compete, but just hold your head high, recognizing your authority. And you ask them, how will others compete with the power within me? And you tell them with unwavering certainty that to keep hope alive, you search for that gleam. You strive to shine your light on the world. Fight for your dreams.